Okay, hello everybody. I am Bones, and today we are doing a, uh, let's play of Radiation Island. Now, you're probably wondering, let me turn this down a little, you're probably wondering why we, why I started it past the title screen, and that is because, uh, I forgot. Um, also, uh, we're gonna do two back-to-back uh, let's plays here. Um, back to back meaning today and tomorrow. I'm not meaning both today. Sorry, y'all. Busy days happening. Um, and so help me God, don't you dare do that stupid ass pineapple banana. Whatever the hell that song is. I hate that shit. Um, now, what we're doing here is we're, I want to do a best survival game for your buck. Uh, Radiation Island is a little survival game, not as well known. Uh, I believe the developer basically this started as a mobile game, got ported here, and then just kind of like basically got dumped off. I think this guy quit. He promised updates, never did the updates. Um, the thing costs nine ninety nine. I believe I got this uh, during a Humble Bundle thing, I want to say. Um, I know I didn't pay full price, so I either got gifted this or this was a Humble Bundle thing. Some sort of sale happened. Um, I'm positive that this was some sort of sale situation that happened here for me. Now this takes place uh, with zombies as the enemy. So this is going to go head to head with the number one code, and I know I'm pronouncing this wrong, and Grijillo, I believe it is a Spanish survival game that is regularly only 49 cents, so price point wise, and Grijillo has it all over this one. And it's also still being developed. And Grijillo, however, is getting a little DLC crazy, I think. The DLC is 99 cents a piece, which can drive the game up. Now mind you, they're not many DLCs. You can buy zombies, aliens for enemies, extra guns, and extra cars, so forth. So that's four bucks, four bucks and 49 cents for the whole game. This is 9.99 for the whole game. We're gonna do both back to back and you guys can decide. Um, click a page downward to see the area map. Okay, so this is obviously the Betty Bed where I want to go. Video settings, why do I want a mouse filter? I don't want to see the social panel yet though. Do I got to? Great. I really should have just skipped this shit. Okay. No, how about not? Uh, can I get back to this so I can tweak my settings, please to God? Since apparently you all have this bullshit set up like I'm some sort of effing dinosaur. Well, I gotta tell you already, I'm not loving this shit. Keyboard, gamepad, da da da, press activate tips to see the full help message. Why can't I choose this? Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright. Great. Now, some of you, I'm sure, are like, oh, well, you, they said to do this, guys. But. Okay. I knocked under the hair. Interacting with the camera controls, so don't mess with it. Okay, so as long as I don't mess with anything else, I just stay on this. Hunting animals? Yes. Proceed as I may. Really, can I? Exploration, eat, survive, zombies, blah, blah, blah. Now that's the other thing. And Halo has, uh, 
I feel like I'm doing this normal. Both these games are going to be uh, judged fairly and that I'm going to use zombies on both. And Drillo doesn't need to have zombies. That was a DLC. Um, originally I got it when it was $2.49 originally, but actually a buddy of mine from Russ gifted me the whole thing. Um, so I was, I got that free. Um, down the road there was an update, mind you, that gave me a few other small things. It was a update for guns. Uh, I was talking to somebody and he was like, hey, you do have this? And I'm like, no. And he was like, now you do. So I was like, good looking out, my man. So now I have that too. So that was fortuitous on my end of things. So now I can play both to the fullest for you all. And I decided, I've done a few small ones. So this isn't going with big survival games, guys. We're going cheap here. And I'm doing this on purpose for one reason. Um, sometimes you want cheap games, you know? Sometimes you want games to see what you can do. My durability is sucking on this, isn't it? So I tell you what, we're not going to play with that right now. First thing we're doing is finally fixing, because this is driving me nuts, you guys can tell, I'm sure. Is my mouse control, I crank my mouse control up in almost every game. I am somebody in real life, I look around very quickly. So I like a nice... I know I'm going to get teased for saying this right out of that, but I like a nice, loose movement. Uh, go on, let me have it. Perverts. Um, I can't really call you guys perverts, so I kind of had that coming, didn't I? Had it coming. Whoa, what is this? I feel like I want a radiation suit on me, don't I? Shouldn't, shouldn't I have that, maybe, guys? That's medicine. No, we're going to keep the medicine there for now. Uh, mushrooms? Can I eat mushrooms? Fish and all that we're going to keep in storage because I may need that. This is probably, I'm guessing, going to be my little home base. Is this part of a story? Those numbers look like they're important. Now, do I keep this? Is this part of like my journal now? Is that stuck with me? That's stuck with me. I do like that so far in this. Now, I personally... I remember playing Radiation Island once, and I didn't mind it. Um, I actually found it rather interesting. And while other people were me, 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 I, I, I'll be honest, I found it quite nice. I did not mind it. Oh, okay, right here. I hit this. Um, so, we're going to do that now. Can I make anything else? No. Fruit bait. Alright, so... You can see here there is a deceptive number, so we're going to actually, uh, if you all watch this enough, i tell you what I'm going to do. I promise you all a third survival game at a special price point. You know what that price point is? Zero dollars. How good can a survival game be for zero dollars? Do you know what it is? Some of you who are old school gamers are going to know what it is. Some of you who are not old school gamers are going to have no idea what it is. Are any of you going to know what it is, maybe? I'm curious. Um, we're going to see. We're going to see if you guys can figure out what it is here. I, I myself would be curious to see if you'll figure it out. Um, drop it down in the comments below if you guys think you know it already. Before the bow, I personally, and I know you guys are going to give me shit about this, we've talked about the merits of this before, I would make the sling, and I'll tell you why. You guys think I'm bullshitting you. If I can get it down here, which of course I can't. Next video, next video. I have a sling right up there, a, a like rock sling, like David and Glad sling that I train with and use. Um, look it up sometime if you're a history buff and you would be fascinated to find out how powerful a sling really is and how deadly a sling really is at killing a man. Um, they do not 
have the same restrictions. And I know you guys are like, he's talking shit. He's talking shit. He's crazy. He's gone Alex Jones on us. I've not gone Alex Jones on you. I'm not promising you the frogs are gay. I'm, I'm not going crazy like that, I promise. Um, what if the frogs are gay? Who cares? You go, gay frog. You gay it up. I don't give a shit. Fucking weird ass Alex Jones. Yeah, I said it. What are you gonna do, Alex? I'll take you out. I said that shit too. Fuck Alex Jones. I ain't afraid of him. I said that shit outright. You know why those rabbits are happy? Because I can't hit them. I suck at it. <laughs> like, this motherfucker ain't nothing to worry about. That's a joke. Uh, but no. Again, that's not me trying to ruffle feathers. I just, uh... I don't know, man. That's not a fear monger. That's not how I roll. I'm not, uh, I'm not into that whole thing, and if that's, that's how you roll, that's, I guess, good for you, but I'd rather educate people and have a, a society where people get education and actually learn shit instead of just teach through fear and, you know, then you wake up one day and everybody's afraid of gay frogs, for fuck's sake. What is that even? Really? Is that where we're at as a society now? We're afraid of gay frogs? The mind boggles, folks, really. And I know you're laughing, because you know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, some of you know what I'm talking about out there, right? I'm obviously discussing Alex Jones. Um, and I give a shit less if he doesn't like it. He can put it on his show. He can, ooh, he has a show where he has puppets on it. No, he's part of the conspiracy of blah, blah, blah. Oh, go fuck yourself. I don't care. Really. If that's your whole day and that's your hobby, get a better fucking hobby. Really. Get a better fucking hobby. If your whole day is freaking out over frogs and the possibility that they may be gay, get a better hobby, dude. Seriously. There's a whole world out there full of people that are wonderful people. You should try talking to them. They're called human beings. And they have amazing stories, and they do amazing things. Like, oh shit, I don't know, helping each other. And the world isn't all out to get you, and it's it's alright, man. People get along out there. Uh, I mean, I've been out there in the real world. It's You'd be shocked. People shake hands and shit. It's crazy, I know. Fucking, I mean, guys. Guys, I can't do it sometimes. I feel like that guy hurts my brain. Am I crazy for thinking that? Because I, I really don't feel like I am. Oh, now I see the oopsie doopsie of this game. So what is this here, then? Is this like... No, no shit, what is this? I want the arrows, obviously. They're going to be superior for hunting. And this bow and arrow is going to be fantastic. Now what is this? That's how you know her. Those are arrowheads, so I obviously want them. That radiation suit, I feel like that's a big, big deal right there. I'm gonna give up those rocks for now, because I feel like those rocks I can get anywhere. As much as I like the rocks, I feel like the rocks I can get anywhere. And uh, that food is important, but that food is not as important as some of this other stuff we find in here. Speaking of which, we should keep keep our tum-tums full at all times. Survival tip 101, guys. Keep your tum-tums full. Straight from the mouth of bones. That sounds weird, doesn't it? <gasps> Another journal entry. Let's look this shit up, guys. I'm now part of the 701 unit of the Imperial Army. Dun dun dun. Wrong thing, wrong thing. Let's not get sued here. Although it's top secret, the no notoriety of its experiments and the unscrupulous approach to warfare is known. Fortunately, the project uh, I will be assigned to has nothing to do with the rumors. After all, I'm just a physicist. Okay. 
Um, yeah. Oh, you know, I also forgot there are, uh, is this body stuff? It's, okay, okay. So that uh, gave me some room there, too. That's good to know. So that's all stuff to put on my body. My body all over your body, girl. Alright. I'm sorry, guys. I know I'm a horrible singer, but... Need some entertaining. Waka waka. Oh, God. Now I'm going to get sued. Sorry, Disney. Sorry. Great overlords in space or wherever. Um... No, uh, but seriously, guys, I mean, uh, I talk a lot of shit and I goof around a lot, but on a serious note, can we just all agree to just, at least some point in our life, just stop fucking around and try and get along with each other, maybe a little, maybe, just, kind of, you know, just a little fucking bit. Can we do that as a society? Just realize that it's just not worth all the bullshit. Hidden in plain sight, project of unit... Z 701 Division 9 got greenlit. A viable location has been confirmed. Transportation of materials and personnel is in progress. Although skepticism runs through the military ranks, the promise of unmatched mobility for a huge invasion force appealed to everyone. Now, if I remember, this is basically about uh, the Manhattan Project, which was a hidden agenda thing in which they believed they could use teleportation to some degree and weaponize it. Keeping the artificial island afloat until the magnetic fields will be activated is a bigger challenge than predicted. Displacing huge ma land mass masses proved a problem too. Still, the result is impressive. The island is beautiful, a true paradise. Um, along with the, and I guess we are talking a little Alice Jonesy here, aren't we, guys? Um, the Montauk Bay experiments, which apparently had to do with genetic mutations. Blah blah blah. If I end up missing guys, I love you dearly. I'm sorry. And suddenly a sniper takes me out of the window. <laughs> My birthday was March 18th, so if I go missing, then... sorry. And I know there's probably more stuff up there, but while it's still daylight, I want to make my way back to that small cabin. I feel like this may be a good place to set up home base, but for now, it's that small cabin. I don't know why it's a small cabin. Maybe I should do here, eh? Oh, I do not like that fog. That's, uh, that's not good. My visibility is really low there. Oh, shit. What was, what was that thing saying here about the, the map? Wasn't there a map thing, guys? That it was talking about a map here? Let's try to look at the map. Okay, so two maps, two maps, two maps, and a local map. So let's look at the local map. So we're here. This is where we want to be. So let's haul ass and see if we can get up there. Somewhere out there. I know the inventory is full, you son of a bitch. Although the world's so high. This thing used to traumatize the shit out of me as a kid. You guys ever had that? Like a song that. Oh, now I know that symbol. See that symbol up there to the right? That means the predator has spotted me if I remember. If I remember, that is a bad news sign right there. I want to say that's what that is. It's been a long time since I played this. I played this when this game first hit. Hear that shit, though? Let me tell you, nothing good ever comes from a noise like that. Also, I should not be seeing Tesla coils going crazy up there. That's probably not good. Oh, God. Folks, I'm not feeling real happy about our survival chances. They went from great to, oh shit, real quickly. Um, also, I'd like to point out I totally forgot there are zombies in this game. Uh, speaking of which, I just want to point out as well. Oh, no. This is not, I have overshot here somewhere. Where have I gone? No, 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 no. Open this back up, except the other way. Um, I, I'm going south, I wanna, so, point, this way, shit, between the valley, I'm gonna thread the needle, 
Thread the needle. Bab and buck. Do the bow weevil. Do the bow weevil. Weave the bow. Oh shit. This has got bad news written all over it, baby. We need to go, baby. You got the touch. You got the power. When you're riding the storm, you'll be... Uh, I don't remember. Oh, God, no! What's going on? I'm gonna break my effing leg. Oh, why did this suddenly pick up this much speed? This was way too... I really should not have even tried that in the first place. I should not have tried that in the first place. You will die. Or I will die. One of us will die. Okay, I think I have medicine here. Oh, I did not take the fucking medicine. Are you kidding me? No, yes, I see I need something. Can I make a splint, please? Maybe? Help. Do I have that? Oh, come on, baby. Oh, no. Guys. This is not good. This is not good. Oh, good, good, good. No, yeah, I know. I know, I know. So. Fuck, your inventory is full. My leg is about to flap off here, you son of a bitch. Oh, shit. What am I going to do, guys? Executive decision time. Inventory. This. Gone. I, I need my leg. Sorry. Okay. More executive decision time. Uh. Yes. Make it happen. No, you dick. Do it. String man, cute. All right, squint. For fuck's sake, two things gotta go. Really? Is that what we're doing now? All right, those can go. I, I, I don't really have a choice, guys. I gotta, I, I'm gonna die otherwise, and I don't really want to die in this damn game this early. I just started this. I really don't like that. I think it should just, yeah, like this would be good. Alright. Okay, so. I'm gonna eat a little more. Now I can at least pick one of the two things up, but which thing? Alright. Let's switch those. Weapons are good to have when you're limping to your death and it's getting dark. And the beasties and zombies are going to come out at night and eat me. I wish I could get in there. Discovered a new transit location. Look, I'm just trying to discover a new get the fuck out of the zombies way location. How about we do that? How about we do just that? Can I? Alright, so I can rest. That's good. So again, so far... A lot of stuff you can craft. I'm liking that. Fairly easy. You know, a little learning curve, but not too bad. Um, I give them credit. It's manageable, the learning curve. I do like the the journal here. Um, I like that when you grab a journal piece, you can just pop it in your journal. Because I feel like if I want to, I can just keep flipping through all this, read the whole thing. Gives you a little thing here. Oh, check that out here. Alright, so awareness, day night cycle, digging, inventory, mining. Gives you some tips on everything. Digging. Oh, I can dig. You digger. I didn't say that word. 
Actually, I wasn't even trying to make any sort of racist joke. Uh, it wasn't until after I said it out loud that I realized what that sounded like and almost pissed myself, so... I do apologize formally. I am not dumb enough to be one of those YouTubers to do that. Leaves. Great. We haven't gone anywhere radioactive yet. I also feel like there's a giant stumping around somewhere outside. Um, for now, I feel like we're going to... Oh, hold on here. Something just dawned on me. Let's, uh, let's put that in here. Let's put, uh, let's put that in here. Let's put that in here. And then maybe, 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 we can make more arrows. Unless we need something else. Let's see what we need to make an arrow. Um. Okay, so I need fiber to make a slingshot. A slingshot is great. It says has low firepower, but they're full of shit. Um, I don't like that noise, whatever that is out there. That sounds like a bear, actually. Hear it? Can you hear that right now? So, I need a twig. Just one twig equals ten arrow. That's a pretty fair deal, I'd say. Is there a way to make a twig? I'd also like, so I need some wood, get some string, um, alright, so let's start, let's get some shit in order here. So I want two slingshot, this thing here is probably going to go. So what I'm going to focus on is making one of these, which means two fiber and five wood. Thing two is to make some more ammo. So that needs one twig. So we're gonna focus on those two things, oh, and that's that's our next step. Um so, all right, so we are gonna need some of this stuff. And we're just gonna go outside here and dump off. Well, I don't know if we're dumping that. I'll tell you what we're going to do now. I guess I'm going to dump this in here because I don't see the use of that right now. This music is kind of freaky though, I'm not going to lie. It's... Oh, shh, Nike. We have ourselves, folks, a no joke situation. This is not a drill. This is not a drill. That is a serious. Serious advers- oh god. That is a serious adversary who is very angry. Only I can prevent forest fires, but only he can prevent whooping my ass, and he don't want to prevent it. No, he's trying to start it. Oh god. He just tried to do some weird Hodokin Mortal Kombat bullshit. Did I just kill him too? Uh, well, I, well, I am happy. I, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of feel like that should have taken me, in the interest of fairness here to the forebear, I do feel like that should have taken me more uh, to whoop his ass. But hey, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna stop it. Uh, if the game wants to award me an easy win, I will take an easy win. Rest well, my gentle giant. Do I get no meat from you? Because I feel like that's kind of shitty of the game if I get no meat for you, because I feel like I don't want your death to mean nothing. You're a very noble creature. I got fat from you. And I got bear skin. Uh, now, let's see here. Stones equals pebbles. Papa was a rolling stone. Wherever he laid his head was hung. Alright, so. We got ourselves a bear skin. We can get some leather. No, God, what is wrong with me? Alright. 
I don't think I'm allowed to play with that anymore now. Alright. Anyways. What is this here? Let's craft some leather. Now, what can the leather make? What can you do with the drunken leather? <sighs> do I want that or do I want some armor? Apparently, apparently I, I want some more backpack stuff. I can see that though. I feel like a backpack to start with is probably a good choice. What do you guys think? Um, so, what are you guys' thoughts on this one? Me, so far, um, I kind of like it. I don't, uh, I gotta say, it's not, uh, not half as bad as I thought it'd be, frankly. It's, I mean, you know, we're not dealing with Shakespeare here. These are basic survival games. These are cheap survival games. These are not, you know, $100 survival games, or $100, Jesus. None of them are $100 survival games. They're $100 for that much money. Oh, buddy, the stuff these things would be expected to do. They better give you the razzle and the dazzle, you know what I'm saying? They better be like, roar! They better make the noises, they better wave the hands for you, they better, you know... I mean, shit better be happening for $100. They better amaze you for $100. There's an apple. Oh, is that banana enough? That is banana enough. We're gonna stock up on the rest of this pineapple here. Um, I don't even know how long I've been playing. I suppose I should look. Eh, not too long. Um, so what do we do for my birthday here? I ended up picking up a new game. Some of you are gonna be excited about it. Some of you are not. Now I was actually gonna do a let's play of it, guys. Uh, let's have a little conversation here actually about this. We, on our channel, you may have noticed, keep age-restricted content off of it. Um, and that is just, frankly, so that everybody can enjoy it. Um, and we've had a few debates on this subject and gone back and forth. Um, I go back and forth on it, personally. I'm, I would be curious what your thoughts are on it, guys. What do you guys think of this? And here's where we're at, right? Here's where we're honestly at, guys. Um, where we're at is this. It's everything I need, actually, to make a slingshot right now. Do you? So now we got one. Oh, hail the king, baby. Um, where we're at is this. It's a sort of sticky situation with this sort of thing because we we would like to do more content, more games that are a wider variety. But the problem is, for example, I got Mafia Two. Mafia Two is a great game. I we, I love it so far. I think it's fantastic. Love the era. Love the cars. Um, I really dig the music. Um. Before you like hipster, you can fuck off. I like the music before Fallout, you little punks. You little whippersnappers. But no, seriously, I do really like the music. Um, but you're all whippersnappers too. But no, I do like the music. So because of that, it is one of those things that I have personally enjoyed quite a bit. Um, we have talked a lot about and see, it's a hard thing, man, because you also have to see it from our point of view. The moment that we age-restrict a video, we're already losing viewers. And we've heard back and forth from some of you, well, yeah, but are those really the viewers you should worry about anyway? And that's a fair point. That is a fair point. So maybe drop your comments below, tell me what you think. Because there have been eight or nine games that, frankly, I haven't touched doing bigger reviews that I could have done. 
um, Haiti, for example. The original Haiti Let's Play was nude. It was her nude. And we didn't do it. Because of the fact that we just didn't... We didn't want to fuck with that, frankly. Um, so that was one thing we did not want to play with. Could we have? Yes. Um, did we have the capability to? Yes. Um, even though they're, they have removed nude mods from Haiti, uh, on the, whatchamacallit, something of another, thingamajigger, whatever you want to call it, we still have it. Um, we were lucky enough, actually, one of the modders, LK, has even given us exclusive access for now. Thank you, LK. And told us if we want to use his uh, in-testing mod for it, we had an okay. So that's very cool of him. And the guy is one heck of a nice guy, so I think that's cool of him to do that for us. So thank you, LK. Um, but no, so there are a few different ones like that that we have almost done. But we have not done them just because of the fact that, frankly, we were not sure where to go with it. And I know you all may think weak, but at the end of the day, guys, you also have to consider this. We are a small, small channel. We're not Markiplier. We're not these other dudes. We're not any of these big guys. We're not these big names. Um, it takes me a long time to do these videos. A very long time to do all these videos. It takes hours to put these out. That's what you don't see. And when I do these, it's a lot of work. And I know you're like, oh, but you just play games. And yeah, <laughs> funny. Now, don't get me wrong. I enjoy what I do. I do. Playing games part, it's a hoot. It's a lot of fun, sure. But there's a lot more to it than just that. And that's what y'all don't see. And it's what you don't see that can be a royal pain with this. So, there is more to it than that. Shit, there is another. Nope! Well, I guess I know where my home is, don't I, guys? Whether I like it or not. Yogi friggin' Bear has pretty much shot me in here. Oh, you tit. He's this one. Um, so, it's kind of pigeonholed us into this thing of do we or don't we when it comes down to these videos. So, your input on this matter is greatly appreciated. So, if you guys just want to, you know, drop your thoughts down, man. Let us know. Are you with us on this? Do you think it's a dumb idea? Are we... Should we do some of these? If so, we planned to do three in a week. We were going to do a uncensored Haiti run through from scratch all the way through Haiti. Um, I even thought it would be funny to call it Haiti Undressed. You know, just the old sort of like schlocky adult film name sort of thing. So it would have been called Haiti Undressed. Uh, the Let's Playing, we were going to do, um, House Party, we were going to do, uh, although we have to be careful still, because even age-restricted, YouTube will not allow, uh, sexual content, and unfortunately House Party is chock full of that stuff. So, even with following the guidelines, we still have to watch that stuff. So there's still stuff we can't, we still can't do. Um, and the third one was uh, Age of Barbarian, which I've had for ages, and is a hilariously fun game. It actually is quite fun. Um, and very gory, man. Just some great kill scenes in that thing, and just brutal, brutal death scenes. Now that would be a lovely crafting item to make. I, I gotta say this so far for this game. Um, I am very much enjoying some of the things I can make, and I can see where I can expand my area. 
um, here with things like some extra metal walls around my camp, maybe. Okay, so I can drag. I can drag here. Um, and down the road, if I didn't want this cabin, I could see doing some other stuff. I do think a campfire is something I need to look into. Um, the, yeah, I mean, the, the, this is not a bad one, but one of the other biggies here is this one, and this one is what I'm really looking forward to. Um, because I feel like this does the work of both the campfire and it's going to help me with ores and things like that, so... Uh, I don't know about you you guys, but I think I'm going to try exploring. What is this here? Now, is this... Can I teleport on this? Maybe, guys? Do you know? I feel like these linchpins have a purpose. This is all science-y, you know? I feel like there should be some sort of science to this. One problem I have, however, for sure, is that I run out of food. So now it is put up or shut up for bones. It is the eye of the tiger moment, guys. We have got to eat. Okay, and I'm not gonna lie, I do think that's really silly that the pair just let me off it that quickly. So that this point gets a little minus for that, this game does. But can we appreciate my ass whoopery skills there guys? That was just I was like Chuck Norris Jr. there. Um, God, broken limb again with the injured. Let's see what kind of haul we got. I feel like that raw meat is not going to be great for me. So, first things first, we need to eat. We need to eat very badly. Second things, uh, third. Second things, second, not third. Is, uh, we need to dump as much as we can in here. I'm hoping this stacks, and it does. That can stay. This meat's gotta go there. This can go here, and this can go here. And that should... Oh, I hope... I hope... Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Give me enough. I need a splint. What do I need for this? I can make a splint right off the bat. If I'm smart enough to hit the right damn thing here. Okay, so. Inventory. Splint. Use my splint. We're going to rest. Hakuna Matata. And that, I believe, is going to do it for this. Now. To keep things fair, tomorrow we are doing that uh, Andrahillo, and I'm going to look up the name and pronunciation better tomorrow, I promise, and find out the actual real pronunciation, I promise you. Um, overall, this is not a bad little game. Surprising amount of depth, I will say. Um, would I have paid full price? Eh. I mean, it's, it's... I look at it this way. I started with games like Rust when Rust got popular. My brother got me Rust that year for my birthday when Rust came out. So I was in the first rush of Rust players. Um, what did I think of Rust then? It was full of assholes, frankly. It is still to this day full of assholes. So that hasn't changed. Still full of assholes. Um, still full of people that I think uh, it has one of the worst, one of the worst player bases I've ever seen in a game in my life. Just poisonous, 
ridiculously shitty player bases full of people. And I don't even want to hear it if you're a Rust player, because you know I'm right. Um, just a bunch of trolls and assholes. Just outright dickheaded people. And, I mean, most Rust players will admit to it and tell you. They know. They know what they are. Most of them won't even deny it, and the ones that do deny it are the ones that troll the most. So, that's usually how you can tell they are a troll. Is if they're the ones that deny it, then there you go. Um, but most won't even deny it because, because they know. They know exactly what they are. Before I go, I figure we'll just complete this last objective here. Um, the lighting actually is surprisingly good in this game. That is one thing I will say for right off the bat that I uh, am finding pleasantly, pleasantly surprising. Now what? Really? Alright, so just a few more minutes here for this one. Um, and I actually got a late birthday gift today. Um, because we had it ordered. Uh, I like a lot of board games, and we were originally going to make on our channel a Let's Play a Board Game. We didn't get much response to it, so I never did. Um, you guys tell me if you still want to see it on the channel. Um, I will still consider it. I just, I don't know. I haven't gotten much response to it. Um, so we basically gauge it by response. If we get enough response to something, we do it. If we don't, we don't. So, because there have been a few times where you guys have been like, well, how come you guys never, because you guys never said anything. So, talk to us, man. When we tell you guys to, like, write us, that means write us. Seriously, write us. We do listen, we do respond. Uh, one of you out there, one of our fans did actually win his pair of, uh, we actually got to send it to him, so I'm sorry, we haven't, uh, we haven't sent it to him yet, but we are going to. And we have been working on that. He lives out in Sweden, however, so, uh, we, we have actually, uh, we have had to work out the postage. And I know that sounds weak, but let me tell you. Postage in Sweden, a little more than you would think. Um, five, so. There we go. Well, that was kind of weird because I actually already already tried to do that. I think uh, they'll mess with it if I put it out here, the animals. I'm going to try it. I don't think it's safe to do, but. This is my first big, real, honest playthrough of this game. So here's the way I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm going to put stuff like ores and like mine materials in there. And then I'm going to put animal stuff like the furs. Actually, no. I will put... Meh. Furs, uh, da, 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 we'll go there. Uh, I will eventually make one for me, Locker. So, for now, I'll tell you what, this one is gonna. I'll just put the mine stuff in this, and I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. So, yeah, that's iron ore. So, iron ore will go there. What is this? Your pebbles? What are you? What the hell are you? You're both pebbles. So, you're both ammo then. Get a stone. What are you? It's no flint. Okay. What am I doing? Getting all this shit mixed up. I want all my ammo together. Personally. First. Here comes my rocks. This stuff. Um. Eventually, oh, different, different containers for different things. And I don't know what's down here. More stone. Okay. More stone. What are you? More banana. Good. Tally me banana, baby. Tally it up. 
Uh, that's one thing now. I, I really need to get this furnace happening. I actually just need to get more meat going. I feel like uh, raw meat is going to make me sick, so I don't want to eat that. So I do need to get one of these puppies going. I have enough flint, I have enough of this, and I just need the wood. There's no way that sounded good. Alright. Now we'll put that here, that way it scares the shit out of the predators at night. I feel like that, uh, that would be a good place to end the video, cooking some meat. You can old-fashioned BBQ. Nothing? You gave me nothing. That's some bullshit. Alright. I'm not gonna chop that little sprouting ass thing down. Just recently saw um, Dark Crystal in the theater again. They had it at Imagine for one night, and let me tell you guys, holy cow, was that incredible. Something I encourage all of you to do if you have never seen it, see it if you have seen it. Still go see it. If you get the chance to see it in a theater, do so. If you get a VR headset and you own a copy, see it. Like, go re-see it. It is the most incredible experience you will ever have is seeing the Dark Crystal like that. Um, that big. Can I duck, by the way? Is there like a sneaky beaky button? That's the name. I'm keeping it. Um, it was incredible. Let's see. My, uh, my fiance's sister, her brother and me went. It was amazing to see. I grew up with Henson's work. Um, and I, I love Henson's work. I always will. The imagination that that man put into my childhood. I cannot thank him enough for... I mean, he, he gave me dreams. Flat out. The guy gave me dreams to believe in, and that's, you honestly cannot put a price on that sort of thing. Do you know what I mean? You can't put a price on dreams. There was a world there that didn't exist for Jim Henson. And there was a world there that will never exist again, because it's all saturated and bullshit and CGI now. He made puppets live. I can't say the word he called them. Um, and don't get me wrong either. On our channel, we are not trying to emulate those. Um, and the reason is actually out of respect for him. Um, even if we could get away with it, I still wouldn't do it. Because to me, it's disrespectful to his memory and... Uh, I disrespect him too much. Uh, I, I, I couldn't do it. I think that uh, what he created was just mind-numbingly incredible. You know, it was the sort of thing that... <coughs> Sorry, guys. It's the sort of stuff that you just can't... You really can't uh, uh, replace... He made the whole world change and introduced me to a world that I did not even know could it even happen. I did not know there could be a world like that, full of, you know, Skeksis and all these other crazy things and, and beings and uh, goblin kings and... Gartham and mystics and, and all this stuff and Kermit even, just Kermit, you know, Miss Piggy, all these great things and just blew my mind. So, <sighs> sorry guys, I don't mean to get a little sad or sentimental on you there for a minute, but wow. Got a case of the fields for a minute there, folks. 
Uh, anyways, happy talks, let's play, yay. Waka waka fun and fun. I, uh, man. I apologize, guys, I didn't mean to get, uh, that, that deep. Just, uh, you know, it's one of my childhood heroes. So, yeah. I guess that got a little beat there for a moment. So, do forgive me. Thank you for indulging me in that Com conversation a little. I, uh. I guess it's just interesting sometimes because you, you, you really don't realize how much your heroes mean to you until you really start reminiscing. Uh, on that note, I think I'm gonna miss here. Yeah. I think I'm getting a little too heavy in this video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry if I got a little too sappy for you. Certainly didn't mean to. Whew. Well, that got heavy, didn't it? Thank you guys so much, though. And uh, let me know your thoughts on this game. Did you like it? Would you get it? The link's going to be below where you can buy it, as always. Um, and do stay tuned tomorrow. I'm curious to see what you guys think of the next one. The next one is... It's different. Um... Yeah, yeah, it's different. Uh, I can't really explain, I guess. They're different in different ways. I don't really know how else to say it. I feel like one is better at being one kind of game. I feel like uh, the other is... Like, for example, Andrillo, you will see, has cars. Yes, cars. So you can actually, like, just ride cars around in it. Um, but it feels a little more barren, so I don't feel like there needs to be cars yet. Um, I appreciate the guy's effort in putting cars in it. I just don't really understand why the hell there are cars in it at this point. I, I, I personally don't see where I'm going in cars at, the, uh, at this juncture in the game. But, uh, you know, that's just me. Maybe, uh, maybe I will. That looks like an alligator. I do. This island is creepy as shit. In this game. I'm actually, if you notice, I could have put a campfire down, but I'm trying to. Is that a living thing? Or is that just. Okay. I'm trying to get a few more rocks for a reason, guys. Is I am trying to build an oven instead of a normal. Campfire. I feel like that's like a gator or some shit up ahead there. Please don't anything kill me while I'm doing this. Two stones away. We're, we're going for the... We're going for the rock, guys. We're going for the oven, rather. Because I have iron ore, and then I can get a proper axe. It won't keep friggin' falling apart on me. Uh... Yeah, again, I do apologize, guys. I don't edit my stuff, so I'm not editing that little moment I shared with you guys out. Uh, but no, you know, I, I think it's good to have heroes like that. And he just happened to be one of mine as a kid. Uh, I just think that stuff fueled my imagination and taught me that there was nothing wrong with dreaming giant. Not just huge, just giant, you know? All that stuff seemed possible. Everything seemed possible with Jim Henson. No matter how big your dreams were, it was just all possible. Nothing seemed impossible to do. Like the LaBeouf said, don't let your dreams be dreams.
can't believe I just quoted Chai Labeef. But yeah. Oh my god, wolves. Bunch of wolves. This is not an ideal situation I've gotten myself into, guys. So two things. Thing one, I don't remember where the hell I was. I think up there? Oh shit, we're gonna guess up there. I am seeing all sorts of claw marks and crazy shit going on here. I am not liking what I'm seeing at all. Oh, fuck me running. Oh my god, I, I jumped. I jumped, I jumped. I was not near mountain lions. Where in the hell have I gone? How did I hit Narnia? What happened? What happened? No, you don't, you little wily coyote. You're not getting me today. Guys, where in the hell am I? Better question, where in the hell is home? I'm actually afraid to look at the map right now in case I get a slapple dapple upside my head. Oh, thank God. I think here I am. I think this is where I was. Yes, it is. Oh my God, we did it, guys. We did it. Ah, oh, let's eat some pineapples in victory. Pineapples in victory, y'all. And not a moment too soon, it is getting dark. Let's make the furnace a victory. What a way to end our game, y'all. And now, we firmly plant the pineapple of joy. Of joys. No, nothing. What do we gotta use for fuel in this son of a bitch? Well, fine. Uh, we're gonna grab our meats. We're gonna grab our fats. I think we can cook fat, right? Can fat be a fuel? That can be a fuel. In nature, that can be a fuel. I know it can. <clears throat> we're gonna hope again. So we're gonna do two things at once here and multitask. Oh, come the F on. And what's it good for? Like war. What is it good for, baby? Yeah, alright. You bitch. Okay. So how do I, uh, what do I do here? So if I hold this down, then it tells me. Or as fuel. Well, shit. Not used as fuel for what I need. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put a uh, fat back here. I'm gonna end my video here. Um, anyways, well, thank you very much, guys, for going on this crazy little journey with me. This is Radiation Island. Um, if you like games that have zombies, survival games that don't cost as much as some of the bigger name games, check this out. Again, there were some other ones. Um, down the road, I'm going to cover the forest, but I'm doing that one multiplayer only, not single player. Um, we were supposed to this week. I've had like four different people promise me they're going to do that one with me. Bullshit. So far, none of y'all have done it. So, waiting and waiting. Waiting and waiting. So, uh... It's your moves. I got two different people telling me they're going to do a Let's Play with me on that, on multiplayer. So when they pony up, you'll see that one. Um, tomorrow's will, it will be either tomorrow or Thursday. It depends on how quickly I can get it done. I got a really packed day tomorrow. But, uh, that will be the next one. Uh, and that will be Andrew Hillow, the second budget 
survival game and I will pick the zombie enemy for that one so that way both will have zombies and we will do a contrast and compare. Um, and you guys at the end of that can decide for yourself what you like better. I am Bones, thank you guys so much for checking out our channel. Uh, I do apologize that we had to skip what we could do in these. Uh, my mouse went nuts, had to get a new mouse, had to fix a few things on the computer, but we're back up and running now, so... Thank you guys very much. Please subscribe. Please post us on Facebook. Help us spread like wildfire. We need subscribers, so... Anything you can do to help, we would vastly appreciate. Um, it's the only way we're going to be able to keep doing this, guys. We're reaching a point now where if we don't grow soon, we're going to be in trouble. So, we're asking everybody, share our videos, post them to your favorite media, your favorite video of ours. Keep them growing. Post comments down below, should we do age-restricted videos too? Good or bad idea? Um... Your favorite video that we've done, let us know. Stuff you'd like to see us do more of. Obviously, we already know Puppets React. We've heard a lot of that. There's a reason we haven't done as many lately. We're working on that. We're going to start doing a few in succession soon. So don't worry. We're handling that. Uh, thank you guys so much. I'm Bones. You guys have a great day.